This is an official warning that we are carrying out an investigation at your address. Hi, yeah, it's me again, and let's talk about the latest letter I've got from TV Licensing. Yeah, another letter from TV Licensing, and they're really ramping up the letter sending at the minute. I'm getting loads of emails and loads of messages from you guys about how many letters you're all receiving lately. I think because they can't do so many visits, they're really ramping up the amount of letters they're sending out. So let's take a look at this one, because if you've received it and you're worried you might be getting an investigation at your address, maybe I can set your mind at ease a little bit. So let's take a look. Big red letters at the top. Official notice. Investigation opened. Scary. To the legal occupier. This is an official warning that we are carrying out an investigation of your address. We have asked you to contact us several times, but you have not responded. There is still no record of a TV license at this property. So that's the first paragraph. Let's break this down and see if it's really scary or not. First of all, to the legal occupier, this is an official warning that we are carrying out an investigation at your address. How's that investigation going then? Because you obviously haven't investigated far enough to know my actual name and that's why you're calling me legal occupier. So excellent investigation so far, TV licensing. Let's take a further look. We have asked you to contact us several times, but you have not responded. That's because I don't have to talk to you. There's no law saying just because you've sent me a letter demanding I buy your TV license that I have to respond to you. There's no reason for you to demand that I respond to you, so go away. Next up. There is still no record of a TV license at this property. That's because I don't need a TV license. Thank you very much, please stop sending me the letters. It's not required here, fuck off. Okay, in the next paragraph, let's take a look. The law, oh, scary. It is a criminal offence to watch or record live TV programmes on any channel or to download or watch BBC programmes on iPlayer unless you have a TV licence. It does not matter what equipment you use, whether a TV set, desktop computer, laptop, tablet, mobile phone, games console, digital box, DVD, VHS recorder. Kind of covering all the bases there, aren't they? And they are right. You can't watch or record any TV show as it's being broadcast in the UK without a TV licence. That's fine. But most of you out there don't do that and you don't need a TV license. So stop the scare tactics with your big bold letters saying the law. You're not scaring us, mate. Right, next up. How to stop this investigation? Buy a license at their website or by call them. You can choose a payment method that suits you best. If you've recently moved, please move your old TV license to your new address. Yeah, it might be useful for some people, that bit. Or let us know that you don't use TV receiving equipment at the website. Now, I'm sorry, that's wrong. You can own all the TV receiving equipment that you like. I've got a TV pretty much in every room of this house. I've got phones, I've got laptops, loads of it, and it can all receive live TV. The TV license isn't based on what equipment you have TV licensing. Sort your letters out, you're a mess. It's based on what you use that equipment to do. Now, I can download the iPlayer app on this. I don't, but because I can, does that mean I have to pay for a TV license? No, it doesn't. The fact that I don't do that means I don't have to pay for your TV license. You need to sort your letters out. You are misleading people, and it's not very nice, is it? This is let us say anything else. If we don't hear from you, our enforcement division will schedule a visit. Should the investigation find that you're watching, recording, or downloading TV illegally, you could be prosecuted with a little asterisk. The maximum penalty is £1,000 fine plus any costs and or compensation you may be ordered to pay. Yes, the maximum fine is £1,000, but what they're not going to tell you in this letter is that that is super, super rarely given out. The fines that are given out, the average is around about 180 quid, which is a lot less scary than the grand, isn't it? What else do they say here? Our enforcement division will schedule a visit. Great, schedule all the visits that you want. It's not a problem for us. Should the investigation find that you're watching, recording, downloading TV illegally, you could be prosecuted. And that is the job of the TV license inspectors. They're there to try and sell you a license so they can get their little bit of commission. And that's fine, that's their job. But you don't have to talk to them. Now, 99% of the prosecutions that come from people watching TV illegally without a license, 
come from the inspectors. When they knock on your door, they intimidate people into admitting they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Or they try and get into your house and they'll find some evidence. There's loads of stories about what they do, and I won't go into that here, but they're not normally good people. And they'll find some evidence to get the fine so they can get a little bit of commission again. So simple rules. If you do happen to get a visit from a TV license inspector, don't be shy to open the door. It's your house. You should be able to open the door freely to your own house, shouldn't you? If you want to, that is. So if you open the door, you say, who are you? And he says, hi, I'm from TV licensing. A very plain and simple, you go, no thanks, mate. And you close that door. Don't do anything else. Don't engage with them in any way. They may ask you to sign something. Do not sign it and get that door shut nice and quick. And they'll toddle along because they get paid on commission, as I said. And if they know someone's not going to play their game and not going to talk to them, they're going to go and find an easier target. Yeah, maybe they'll come back again in the future and maybe they'll get the door shut in their face again in the future. What's the problem? That's how to deal with TV license inspectors. The best way to deal with a letter like this is to throw it away or recycle it, whichever's your preference. So if you happen to get any interesting letters or you get a visit or anything, I will leave my contact details below. Do contact me, send me a copy of the letters, the emails, or let me know how your visit went. I'd look forward to hearing from you. And I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.